Most big car fans know how important carbon fiber is in the construction of high performance supercars like the McLaren 570S. It's a super strong yet lightweight material made out of many strands of carbon wire weaved together and molded into almost any shape imaginable. It's five times stronger than steel and twice as stiff while at the same time maintaining a lighter weight. And that's what makes it so great for constructing supercars. Now, what a lot of people may not know is that the carbon fiber revolution was actually started by McLaren. And it all started back on March 5th, 1981, when the McLaren MP41 Formula One car won the British Grand Prix. It was the first car to use a carbon fiber monocoque chassis, and it dominated in racing. Now, the main reason that carbon fiber wasn't immediately adopted by the entire automotive world was because there were some concerns about safety. A lot of people were concerned that it might buckle or just explode into a billion tiny particles of black dust. But then, only a short while later, an MP41 car crashed uh, at around 140 miles per hour during a high-speed practice session. But the chassis held up and it was strong enough to completely protect the driver and there was really not too much damage to the chassis in general. This finally proved the many advantages of carbon fiber and its use became much more widespread after that. And since that influential crash almost 40 years ago at this point, carbon fiber has been used in every single McLaren race and road car. Starting with the McLaren F1 that they introduced in the 1990s, it was used in that car. Uh, and now leading up to the McLaren 570S with the around 165 pound carbon fiber monocoque. And now McLaren is going so far as to build their own factory to produce their own carbon fiber chassis. It should be able to make 10,000 chassis a year when it's finished, and McLaren even plans to use it to produce monocoques for other automotive companies. Carbon fiber is really one of the most important materials used in the construction of supercars because of its really incredible versatility. And it's really fascinating to me that McLaren was the one who actually started it because they're such a new company. But it's really just one of the many technologies that they're using to step up their game. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up for me and comment your thoughts below. And go ahead and check out my channel because I've got a ton of exotic supercar and hypercar reviews up. So remember to subscribe.